it's me again with yet another natural hair update tutorial. So with this tutorial, you need afro twist hair, you need a little small comb, you need a hairbrush, a head tie, um, bobbin pins, you need gel so you can hold your hair together properly. So I need a little bit of extra hair at my front to achieve this look. So what I did was, I did two or three little braids up here and then I crocheted some hair into it to give it the natural look. So first of all, I'm going to cut this hair in two halves. So you can have it look like this, then you brush it out, you brush the hair out, you tease it to give it the natural hair look, okay, and then you take it each strand and crochet it right there into your hair, into the cornrows. So I started doing it. I'm just going to continue till the end. Okay. So you do it all the way till you so you do it all the way so you you're done crocheting the entire combo so when you're done then you want to make sure that all the hair at the front is the same length so you cut it a bit it doesn't have to be perfect Okay. So I'm done achieving the volume I want at the front. Okay. So I'm just going to fold it and tuck it away so I can work with the hair at the back. So you can hold it with a pin like that. Now we're going to work with this hair. Okay. So first of all, you brush your entire hair out, natural hair. Or you can straighten it a little bit to make it easy for you. You brush your hair out to the point where you want your hold. Okay. So to give it a smooth look, we're going to use gel to smoothen it all out. A, a good amount of gel. I don't like my hair to look, I want my hair to look natural, so I'm not going to use too much gel, just a fair amount, just a fair amount of gel to make sure that your hair is all lying down and smooth, and you take your brush and brush it all out. Brush your hair all out. I'm going to add a little bit of gel. Okay, then I hold my hair all the way up here. I like it to, I like my pony up here. A moment of silence. Some people prefer it all the way at the back, but I prefer mine here. Depends on where you want to hold your hair. So now I'm going to go ahead and secure my, um, hold my hair with the elastic band and make sure it's tight. Okay. So I'm done with that. When you're done, you add a little bit of gel. 
and make sure it's all smooth. I'm smoothing it all out. Then I'm going to take my comb and brush my hair. Brush my hair all together. Okay. So when you're done holding your hair, what we're going to do next is to twist this hair. We're going to make it into one big twist, okay? So like I said, I like to hold it with my teeth. So you twist it together. So when you're done twisting, you have it look like this. Okay, not too tight and not too loose. All right, and then I've attached another band all the way here so I can attach it to my hair. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my hair. And then I'll tuck my little hair in, the hair left. I'll tuck it all in, okay? I'll tuck it all in. Then I'm going to go ahead and wrap this all around the hair. So I take my time and do that. And as I do it, I'll be attaching it with bobby pins. Anywhere you feel like you need to hold it more, you just hold it together. A moment of silence. So I just, um, I feel like it's enough. I don't need more pins. Now we're going to concentrate on this part. So the beauty of it is you can do anything at all you want with this. Sometimes for natural hair brides, they want to do something with this, but if it's for any normal occasion, you can be creative, okay? So I'm just going to brush the hair out a little bit. And mind you, this is the Afro Twist hair, which I've teased and combed it out and it's looking so natural like my own hair and it's blended in so perfectly. So I just like to hold it at the tip like this, okay? You can either bring it to your side if you don't want the hair coming all over to your face, or you can twist it to the side to look like this, but this is how I did mine and that's what I'm going to show you guys now. So I'll brush it out a bit more to give it the volume I want, okay? So with this volume, I'm just going to hold it from here, okay? And twist it a little bit at the tip. Just hold it at the tip and twist it. Just keep twisting it, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and tuck the hair underneath this whole bulk and secure it with a bobby pin. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't be too careful with it. 
and the reason I want to give it some more volume so that it will cover this part of the hair I mean it doesn't show because that extension is covering the braid or whatever the part that the hair joins the, the bun so you don't have to worry about it okay so I'm just going to go ahead and make it look a bit loose like this if there's any extra hair just tuck it under there and just hold it with some more bobby pins if you want and that's what I'm going to do okay just secure it so that's it That's it, I'm done. So I'm going to make it look a bit more smooth with some more gel, just a little bit, to give it a little bit of shine. And the back as well. And then, voila, you're done okay you can accessorize this hair with hairpins ribbons flowers and if you're a natural hair bride this is where you're going to put your crown so the veil comes all the way to the front and you can do a lot of the things with this hair it can suit it suits a lot of occasions and you can make it your signature look as well so i hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I'll be back again with yet another tutorial. So before then, be good, keep practicing, and just be you.